see here dropping in. Okay. Now your right here, you're about three frames, maybe two away from touchdown with that front foot. And you have yet to really begun, begin your hip rotation. Okay. So that back hip, you see how it's still kind of in the same area that it was when we started, right? So now since your hips are rotated late, you're not creating a ton of authentic hip shoulder separation. You're trying to go about it by sacrificing your trunk posture by leaning back. Okay. While your hip internal rotation is occurring in a linear direction, as I mentioned before. So you're trying to force separation to occur, but it's not because your shoulders and your hips are going to be moving together because you're late to rotation, right? So, so right here is when you touch down, notice how your shoulder and that hip are pretty much in line. So when I, when I kind of, you'll see this in the report as well. There's some screening videos that I like to look for as soon as my, as soon as the kid touches down with that front foot, that the back foot is up, right? So I, I would be able to see like the whole sole. You'll see more on that in the report. Um, but that gives us a really good idea of the hip rotation maximizing while the trunk and the hand are essentially delaying. All right. So that's another thing that I see with you is that your hand is, is early. Okay. So since your hand is early, this goes hand in hand with the hip rotation thing. Since your hand is somewhat early up. Okay. Your trunk is now going to start its rotation a little premature. So you're not able to maximize that stretch. Okay. So I know it's really broad to just say, Hey, delay the hand raise, delay the arm swing. It's a whole nother thing to kind of do. But the, 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 the trick is, man, is you look at a high power output guys, right? Across the board and the timing of their hand and that front foot touching down, it's boom, 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 right? So that hand raise is delayed. Okay. So that means the trunk is delayed. Okay. So you create a ton of stretch, then you go, right? So that's the goal, man. Is And that's where I talk about like effortless velocity. So uh, next thing you're going to see is that lead leg coming down. You're not efficiently bracing that lead leg. Okay. So you're going to see that knee, it's going to bow outward, right? So it's going to start there and it's going to bow outward. I believe that that is a hip rotation issue. So it's a sequencing thing, right? So your hip rotation is late. So your lead leg is not going to be able to block efficiently, right? So that's why I believe that when we look at the progressions for where we go next and what we focus on, we start with hip rotation, start with timing of the hip rotation in conjunction to hand raise, because then if we rotate our hips on time. Okay. We arm swing hand raise on time. That's going to give our lead leg a way better opportunity to block and brace. So we can, can so, so then the energy can come up the chain and efficiently out through the fingertips. Right? So, uh, the next thing is I, I think, again, this is more of a, uh, kind of guess I, I believe because I can't see the rest of this video but it looks like you're kind of getting into a pushy arm action here, um, leading with the elbow. That's, that's a very common thing that I think go hand in hand with the timing of hand raise arm swing, right. And the hip rotation thing, right? So if we're early with our hand, okay, we can't delay up here. So then we start going. And then once our front foot comes down, and now it comes time to catapult, right? And freaking rotate and release that tension and that band. If we're already going forward, like if we're already going to rotate into our throw, we're not able to efficiently pull the hand or pull the arm through, right? So it's more of a push because the rotation is early. If the rotation is early, you're more susceptible to push. Just know that. So I think we optimize the hand timing optimize the hip rotation and all of these other things that I've been mentioning later are going to be taking care of himself, right?